will worship the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us exalt the holy name. There's no other name that can be compared with him. That is the only name that the righteous run into and they are saved. The name that can deliver, the name that can heal, the name that can save. Let us exalt the name of the Lord. Father, we worship you. We magnify your name. Be the exalted Lord. Worship the Most High God. Worship the one that has kept you to see this day. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have worshipped. Brethren, we are going to thank God this evening. So this, this is the last Thursday in the month of September. The Lord has been faithful. Today is the 27th day. None of us has been hospitalized. That's why you are here. All the parts of your body is complete. None of us are mad on the streets. Even if you cannot eat three square meals a day, there's nobody in this church that will not eat once. The Lord has been so faithful. The talk of somebody that saw who he knew, who she knew, but she couldn't recognize, she couldn't recollect. But when you see me, you know me. When I see you, I know you as a one. Let us appreciate the name of the Lord. For keeping us in the right mind. Your brain is intact and is functioning well. Exalt his holy name. before God this evening and ask him for mercy. Yes, we have come to pray. The Lord laid it in the heart of our Father in the Lord, declaring Thursdays for prayers, prayer fire. And when the fire comes down, if you are not in the right standing with God, it starts with you to consume you. So ask God for mercy this evening. Tell him to show you mercy. For the sins we have committed, upon God Almighty. The ones that we have sinned against fellow men. Lord, let your mercy show forth. Have mercy. Have mercy on us individually, collectively, and of the church. Have mercy, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Say, Father, I have come to pray. Lord, release your power upon my life. Tell the Lord to empower you in the place of prayers. Tell the Lord to fill you up with the Spirit. Tell the Lord to empower you. That you will not just come here and look at people's faces. And you go back to your house. Tell the Lord, Father, by your mercy, let us operate under an open heaven. Let the heavens over the church be opened. Father, open the heavens over us in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to soak yourself with the blood of Jesus. Daddy, I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. Begin to soak this church in the blood of Jesus. We soak the church in the blood of Jesus. We soak the chairs, the doors, the entrance, this environment. We release the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, every gathering that is not of you, that has been organized against this service, we scatter them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter every gathering that is not of the Lord, that want to stand against what the Lord is set to do this evening. Let such gathering be scattered. Scatter them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, can we be on our feet? Praise the Lord. We'll take five minutes to appreciate the name of the Lord. Because when the choristers were singing, some of us were just standing, looking around, looking around. It's not a time to look. It's a time for you to appreciate the, your maker. 
So in the next five minutes, choristers, please help us. Take us to the place that you know how to do. High praise for five minutes. Please let do us appreciate the name do, of the Lord. Do, 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 do,
Was it daddy? Daddy, that you started pressing you, you know. After maybe now, daddy, I wanted to go and buy cocoa pops. You will not even think twice, say, asking how much. He said, 100 naira. You gave her 500 naira. Why? Because your body is already sweating you. Let us clap to the Lord God Almighty. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. King of kings, we worship you. Ancient of days, we magnify your name. The only wise God, the king of kings, the mighty man in battle, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the all-sufficient God, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, the mighty man in battle, the one that began himself, the rose of Sharon, the prince of peace, daddy we worship you, take all the glory, take all the adoration, the redeemer of our soul, be the exalted Lord, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Heavenly Father, we have come to seek your face. We have come to ask. We have come to complain. We have come to knock on the throne of grace. Lord, let us find mercy this evening so that our answers will be answered. Our prayers will be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us safely. Thank you for the day's assignment. Thank you because you led us to wherever we went to. We were not accidented on the road. Father, Lord God Almighty, we waited upon you. We did not faint. You renew our strength. Thank you for the release of your power. Thank you for numerous blessings. Thank you for the gift of free air to breathe. Be the exalted Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lord God Almighty, at this period, let the heavens be opened over us. Lord God Almighty, in the place of prayer, help us. Jesus, come and intercede for us because we don't know how to pray. Jesus, come and pray for your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. For in Jesus', Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let somebody shout hallelujah. You are welcome to the presence of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe your day went well by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. You can ask your neighbor, how was your day? Praise the Lord. Choir, you can sit down briefly. God bless you. We are here to pray. The Lord God Almighty has been so faithful. That's why people like me can stand, still stand with two legs. I don't know that challenge that you had. As at last week, you thought it's going to put your enemy on the ground, but you are still standing. It can only be God. That is why we will continue to appreciate him. I thank God for this moment to stand before you. I thank God for our Father in the Lord for bringing this program that we should pray. We should pray because when we pray, we will not be, fall a prey to the enemy. I bless the name of the Lord for his life. I say wherever he is, the Lord will continually protect him in the mighty name of Jesus for giving us this wonderful opportunity and for giving me, this mommy, opportunity to stand before you. That I say God bless you. Brethren, you are welcome to the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we stand to pray in the next few minutes, you know, we are not here to preach. We are here to pray. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll continue what we had last 
Thursday, pulling down the stronghold. Because we will not rest. You know, they say push, pray until something happens. Until we reach there, until we take all that the enemy has taken from us, we will not rest. Even when we have taken, we will not rest. We will continue to pray so that it will not turn from the back and come and snatch it away from us. Tell, my tell your neighbor, I will not rest until I recover all. And when I recover all, I will continue to pray so that I'll keep my blessings. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus, pulling down the stronghold. Our, our mommy that the Lord used last uh, Thursday told us that a stronghold is a place that has tight security, that is fortified. That the, the people that made that, that place, they don't want any other person that is not part of that carcass to enter. A place that is tightly secured. Praise the Lord. We took our text from 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4. We we'll read it too. Because the word of God is new. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty throw God to the pulling down of strongholds. Five. Let's read five. Technical. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. He said, weapons of warfare. This means the, 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 the means by which you want to fight the battle that you are faced with. And the Bible makes us to understand that it is not the way that the world fights. It is not the way that we carry gun or maybe you want to flog somebody, you carry a cane or broom or whatever. That is not the weapon. He said, it is not carnal. It is not what is for the flesh. It's a spiritual warfare. Praise the name of the Lord. And this warfare is mighty because he said, but mighty through God. This spiritual matter is mighty through God. Why? Because God is the one that is going to answer the prayer. And because you are on the Lord's side, this weapon is mighty through him who is going to make it to come to pass. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. A Christian goes to the battle with, with not with hose, not with matches, not with gun, but with his faith. You know, we, we talked about uh, belts of salvation. We talked about that's weapons that we used in fighting the devil a few weeks back. Those weapons are what the, the Bible says we should go to war with the devil. It's not a physical war. Because if you want to do it physically, you, won't, you don't even know who your enemy is. So if you don't know your enemy, who do you fight? Who do you carry the gun to go and approach? The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, so pulling down those... That's the weapon that we have, which is spiritually, is able to pull down all those strongholds. Those places that the enemy has felt that they have taken things that belong to us to go and put, that will not be able to remove. But the Bible makes us to understand, if you go with the Lord at your back, you will get there and you take what belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you have come to pray this evening, you will take what belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You yourself, you can create a stronghold in your life, in your heart. Some persons, they have created, they have created some strongholds in their own mind. What is your mindset telling you? What are you thinking of? Some people devise, they will just sit down and plot evil thoughts in their mind. They have not really killed somebody physically, but spiritually they have killed. You are filled with so much anger. That is a stronghold that will keep you down. That will not allow you to, 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 to reach your goal in life. You are go filled with so much strife. That is a stronghold. You cannot have all these traits, unforgiveness, 
and you are telling yourself, I want to go and make war with my enemies. You cannot because you are already in the camp of the enemy. You know, some people have been so brainwashed, maybe like a child that was se maybe is sexually abused. Except that child goes through some kind of counseling. That child will begin to feel inferior. I am dirty. I am this. Nobody loves me. Nobody. And those things, as he's, as, he, as he's thinking of it, reasoning it, the thing is taking, occupying his mind. He will become, he or she will become depressed. He or she will not, when he sees people that, that are passing, they don't even look for, he will just be hating people anyhow. That is the stronghold that has been created in his mind. When you create this stronghold in your mind, you cannot go to the camp of the enemy to deliver what belongs to you. So what do you do? You have to identify the strong, the negative stronghold by which me and you have created inside our life and start with ourselves to demolish it. If it is anger, work on it. Some people, their eyes cannot see a, a, a woman, whether short, tall, fat, as soon as they see, their body will begin to change. If you have that, seek for help because those things want to destroy you. That is the stronghold that the devil has created right inside of you and you are carrying it about and you are seeking to go and destroy another stronghold. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us start with ourselves. Search your hearts. To really know if you are in the right place. If there is nothing that is hidden in your heart that is warring against you. Because if you are the one fighting yourself, the devil will just be watching. And by the time you say, I bind you, you just look, turn away because your binding does not have any effect. So let's first of all talk to ourselves. Because stronghold is a place, not a person. It's a place. It is either there is threat there or comfort. If you are in the right standing with God, that means you have created the stronghold of peace around you. But if you have all these negative tendencies, that you are a threat to yourself. By the grace of God, the Lord will help us to watch our life. And whatsoever that we have created that is standing as a stronghold against us, the Lord will help us to demolish it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, whatsoever that is in me that is going to bring me down, Father, by yourself, help me to demolish it today in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, pray for yourself. Because you can create a devilish stronghold in yourself through your pattern of life. Where what living? Stealing. Tell the Lord to pull it out. Is your heart captured by the devil or is captured by the spirit of the Lord? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Technical, please, can we look at 2 Samuel 22, verse 2 to 3. 2 Samuel 22, verse 2 and 3. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. 3. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my salvation, my savior. Thou saveth me from violence. That is, if you don't have anything negative in you, the Lord God Almighty will save us from every violent man in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the Lord will save us from every violent man in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. When David wanted to build the city of David, the, the devil side that was inside there, that was staying there, said, David cannot enter there. 
If you go to the book of Joshua 15, verse 63. Joshua 15, verse 63. As for the Jebusite, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusite dwelt with the children of Judah at Jerusalem until that day. That was then. They managed with them. I don't know what you are managing. It is not what you want to, but because you cannot do away with it, you are managing it. Today, you will not manage it again because the Lord God Almighty, by his power, will help us to possess our possession in the mighty name of Jesus. If you go to 2 Samuel 5, verse 6. 2 Samuel verse 5, verse 6. 5, verse 6. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind, the lame, thou shalt not come in hither, thinking David cannot come into that place. Let us go to the next one. Or let us read 9, verse 9. So David dwelt in the, in the fort and called it the city of David. David was able to drive them out. And he now built the city of David. In that place that the former people, they were managing with the devil. Devil sent them away and built the city of David and is still standing till today. Anybody that is occupying where you are supposed to occupy, the Lord by his power will send them out and you take over your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, anyone that is sitting on my seat of honor, by your power, Father, drive them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Drive them away in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you go to the book of John, John 11 verse 44. You see, when Lazarus had died, the grave has taken over his life. But when Jesus showed up, he came back to life. I don't know what you have given up in your life. I don't know that thing that is facing you as if you have reached the end. Jesus in the, is in the house this evening and is taking over the fights of your life. And you will rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, you raised Lazarus from death. Father, rest me from every situation that is ungodly in the mighty name of Jesus. Rest me from every situation that is ungodly in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are still in the, in the, in the, in the habit that is negative, you are walking hand in hand with the devil. Because you cannot fight the devil with his own weapon. You are filled with anger. You are filled with strife. You are filled with pride. You know, the Satan is the king, is the one that the pride is the armor of Satan. If you have it inside you, then you have no business calling God because you are already walking hand in hand with Satan. So this evening, you check yourself. I will check myself. If there is anything that is in you that you know, that as you close your eye to say, Jesus, the devil will remind you. He said, you, eh? This is the time to let go. All head bow, all eyes close. If there is anything that is in you and you want to let go this evening, this is the time. If you can stand up and come to this altar and tell the Lord, here am I, save me. If you want to give your life to Christ, if you want to reconcile your ways with the Lord, the things that you used to do, you want to tell the Lord, I don't want to do them again. This is the time for you to come out to tell the Lord, Father, here am I. Do not close your hearts and you know that you have attributes that will stand against you. Praise the name of the Lord. If you have some 
things like that. Or you would are here. You have not received your Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, as your own personal Lord and Savior. He will only save those ones that are his own. If you know that you are not on the Lord's side, come and reconcile your ways to the Lord. And if there is no one like that, let all of us be on our feet. Because this is the time for us to pray. This is the time for us to pray. Let us begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for opportunity that he has given us. The Bible says our Father is a consuming fire. He's a peaceful God. He's a consuming fire. He has two edges sword. He can kill, he can make alive. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We'll take this song together two times before we start to pray. Your name is a strong tower. Your name is a strong tower. Jesus, to you be your own power. Jesus, whenever I call your name, you make a way. Your name is a strong tower. Jesus, your name is a strong upon you now. Make a way for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell the Lord to make a way for you even as you call upon him. Say your name is a strong tower. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are saved. Say Father your name is a strong tower. I have come with Father, as I call upon you, make a way for me, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make a way for me, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you want to go to a strong man house to carry your property, you have to be ready. I believe we are ready. Say, Father, I lift my hands up. Fill me with your power. Power to pray. Father, fill me with your power. Tell the Lord to fill you with his power. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Say, Father, Father, every weakness in my life, Father, replace it with strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, tell the Lord to replace every weakness with strength. Father, replace every weakness with strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we replace, replace every weakness with strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Say, Father, I have no power of my own. Come and be a my ally. Come and be my ally. Come and join force with me. I cannot help myself. Power of the living God. Come and help me. I cannot help myself. I cannot help myself. Come and help me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come and help me, Lord. Come and help me, Lord. Tell the Lord to come and help you. Tell the Lord to come and help. Take it very hot because 
When you say prayer fire, it's you that will put the fire. Fight my battle. Fight, fight my, my battle. battle. Only go and fight my battle. Fight my battles. Fight my battles. Fight my battles. Fight my battles. Holy Ghost arise oh, and fight my battle fight my battle fight my battle Holy Ghost arise oh, and fight my battle fight my battle fight my battle Holy Ghost arise oh, and 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 fight my battle Holy Ghost arise my battle. Say, Father, arise and fight all my battle. Father, arise and fight all my battle. I cannot fight for myself. Father, arise. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Psalm 54 verse 3 for, for Psalm 54 verse 3 says For strangers have risen up against me and oppressors have sought after my life. Say Father every oppressor that is seeking over my life Father Lord arise 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 against them in the mighty name of Jesus destroy them destroy them by your power 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 Jeremiah 51 verse 53 says, Though Babylon were to mount up to heaven, and though she were to fortify the height of her strength, yet from me plunderers will come to her, says the Lord. I don't know how big, how big your enemies felt that they have pushed you to the ground. But because your father that is in heaven is the most powerful God. Say, Father! Father, by your power, send destroyers to wherever my destiny has been caged and uproot them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send destroyers to wherever my destiny has been caged and let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. of Acts, Acts 16 verse 26 it says suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaking and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed suddenly the foundation of the prison shaked, I don't know the kind of prison that the enemy has put you but because you are here and as you pray now with your hands, suddenly that place will shake and wherever you have been caged, your business, your children, it will, it will come out alive. Say, Father, by your power, by your thunder, release your earthquake to the foundation that which my destiny has been chained. Let it quake. Let the earthquake fall upon them. Let every chain that the enemy has used to bind me, let it loose now. Father, let it loose. Send your earthquake. Send earthquake. Send earthquake upon my enemies. 
I said one time ago that there was a tree in one in a village. And one day, before daybreak, everybody went to sleep. Rain fell at night. A very mighty tree like this. And when they break, everybody was shouting, come and see, oh, the tree uprooted. It fell and pulled even the roots like this. Then under that tree, all manners of things, certificates, oh, clothes, oh, pants, oh, it belongs to a human being. It's life story, oh. It's not hearsay. I did not see it, but my mother saw it. Certificate, people had died. But their, their progress was buried under that tree. Say, Father, Father, wherever anything that belongs to me has been buried, Father, send up roots them by your earthquake. Let me be, let me retrieve all that belongs to me. Let me retrieve all that belongs to me. Let them belong. Let me retrieve all that belongs to me. Wherever, 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 wherever it has been buried, wherever it has been buried, Father, let the place quake. Let the place shake. Let the place shake. Send your earthquake in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, praise the Lord. Brethren, in that place, there was one picture that was taken out under that tree because it fell. One of the pictures that they saw was the, the first man in that village that had gone abroad for studies. He came back a professor. He had died. He never worked. They found his certificate. It's not as if he was not holding certificate. But the devil has spiritually cached that certificate under that tree. The man did not walk till he died. Before that tree fell down, he had already died. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Say, Father, every power that has cached me so that I'll suffer till I die without achieving results. Father, uproot them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them, uproot them. them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power that has buried what belongs to me under the ground. Father, Lord God Almighty, uproot them in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Our Father in the Lord on Thursday told us that some of us we walk with our leg to go and enter the wrong covenant. I know of a woman with seven children. She walked with her leg. She meant to go and take prevention, security for her children because she felt people were wicked. I don't want my children to be killed. She went to the wrong place. I don't know where you have gone for protection. The only protection that is safe and secure is God Almighty. As I'm saying it now, the woman is still alive. The children are rooming from one place. Beautiful, handsome children. None of them can boast of. They've gone to school. They gave the back up. Bring your pictures, your children pictures. They collected those pictures. They put it in a box. And those children are not moving forward. Say, Father, whatever the devil has used to represent me in any altar, let that thing catch fire now. Let it catch fire. 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 Whatsoever that the enemy is using to represent my children, to represent my husband in any altar, in any evil altar. Let that thing catch fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let it catch fire. Exodus 15 verse 3 says that our God is a great man of war. Our God is a great man of war. You are going to say great man of war. Great man of war. 
war. Great man of war, arise in your power and deliver me from my oppressors. Arise in your power, deliver me from all my oppressors. Arise in your power, deliver me from all my oppressors. In the mighty name of Jesus. name we are afraid in the book of Isaiah a question was asked he said can the captive be delivered he said even the lawful captive shall be delivered so whether you are lawfully in captivity because you have run to the Lord today you are going to receive deliverance say father because you are my God every captivity that the enemy has put me by yourself pull me out pull me out pull me out from the stronghold of my enemies pull me out from the stronghold of my enemies Technical Psalm 102, verse 20. He said, To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to lose those that are appointed to dead. Say, Father, every appointment that the enemy has booked for me with death, ah, Father, dethrone them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose me from such appointment. Lose me. Say to those that are lose those that are appointed to death. Every appointment that the enemy has booked for me, has booked for my children, has booked for my family, has booked for my husband with death. Father, lose my children. Lose me from such appointment. Lose me, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. In some families, there are some pattern, negative pattern. This one will reach 30 years, they say he died. This one will reach 35 years, they say get accident, they're hospital. Our pastor, Dickin Fran, told us one story like that. From one to the other, from one to the other, I don't know of your own family. Everybody has their own. Say, Father, every negative pattern running in my family, I cut myself out of it in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut myself out of it. I cut myself out of it. I cut my children. Ah, Lord, Father, Lord, I remove my children from every negative pattern that is running in their family, in our family. I remove myself. I remove my husband. Father, I remove myself from every negative pattern. Father, I remove myself. I remove myself. Father, I remove myself. I remove myself from every negative pattern in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Exodus 15 verse 12. Technical Exodus 15 verse 12. Father, look. Thou stretchest out the, thy right hand. The earth swallowed them. You are going to call upon this almighty God to stretch forth his right hand and open this ground to swallow anyone that is still saying no. So we're moving forward. Say, Father, by your own right hand, open the ground and swallow every enemy of my breaking through. Every enemy of my breakthrough. Father, open the ground and swallow them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, every 
every enemy of my breakthrough, every enemy of my children's breakthrough, every enemy of my business, every enemy of my family, every enemy of my marriage. Father, Lord God Almighty, let the ground open in mud and swallow them. Let the ground open in mud and swallow them. Every... In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Every stronghold of the enemy. Say every stronghold of the enemy that my case has been taken to. Brethren, they are caught even in the hands of the enemy. They are caught. The enemy, they have caught that they judge cases. You will not be there to represent yourself. At times they say they turn human beings to goats. Goats will not know how to, what to say. Say, Father, every stronghold of the enemy where my case has been taken to let your thunder blood and bless and scatter it let your thunder blood and bless and scatter it let your thunder blow it let your thunder blow it and scatter it let your thunder blow it and scatter it in the mighty name of Jesus to pray against monitoring devices of the enemy. Oh, Jesus. Say, Father, whatsoever the enemy is using to monitor me, I set them a blessed now. Set them a bless. Whatsoever the enemy is using to monitor your life. throwing arrows. Arrow of death, arrow of sickness, arrow, you just see a business that was doing well, all of a sudden, he started doing like this, started doing like this. The devil has fired arrow. Arrow of miscarriage, arrow of... Say, ah, say, Father! Father! Every evil arrow that the enemy has fired into my life, into my family, into my children's life, into my business, into my work, into my health, into my children's life, into my health. Uh, Father, let that arrow backfire on them. Let it 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 your power. Give my enemies load that they will carry and they will not remember me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, if the Lord give them load, they will carry that load. They will not even, their, their power will not even reach to carry the load. They will not remember you. They will not remember me. But I give them evil load. Give them load. Turn that evil that they have channeled towards me. Turn it back to them. Turn it back to them. Honors of evil load, carry your load. Honor of evil load, carry your load. Honor of evil load, carry your load. Honors of evil load, carry your load. In the mighty name of Jesus. receive my freedom from today. I receive my freedom. I receive my freedom. I receive my children freedom. I receive my husband freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are friends. The almighty God we appreciate you. King of kings we worship you. The one that answered by fire we glorify your name. 
Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Father, Lord God Almighty, we pray from today, let honors of evil, Lord, in our life, let them carry that, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have agreed that Champions Cathedral will not bury anyone this year, next year, in years to come. Every arrow of death that has been channeled into Champions Cathedral, we return it back to sender in the mighty name name of Jesus. Every coffin, every coffin that has been, been delivered into Champions Cathedral, we set those coffins on fire. We set them on fire. We will not bury, will not be buried. Our pastor will not bury us, will not bury him. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, from today, Lord, uproot whatsoever that is standing against our progress. Every, every stronghold that has still catch our blessing. Father, let your thunder that you have released dismantle it and we possess our possession in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus most precious name we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let the living in the house shout hallelujah.